there, my name is Riley. I work for the biotechnology program at NC State University and today I'm going to show you how to log into the virtual computing lab, or VCL for short, run out of NC State. All you need for this is a computer and an internet connection and hopefully an NC State ID or an ID from another North Carolina State school. You can follow along with me while you watch this video, just open up a web browser. The first place you want to be is vcl.ncsu.edu. That's the website for the Virtual Computing Lab. The concept of the VCL is there's a supercomputer that has a lot of software that's either expensive or really large that a student might want to use. The way it works is you log in, you reserve a certain amount of time using a certain software, and then you open up the remote desktop client on your computer. Before you get started, make sure that you have all of the required software and hardware to get onto the VCL. Go down here to Access Requirements and click. This is a list of everything you need to use this service. First of all, you need an account, either from NC State, one of the partner institutions, or an outside account to VCL, which you actually have to sign up for and request. You need a computer with the internet because the VCL runs over your internet connection. I suggest it be a pretty good internet connection if you want to do anything, especially using large amounts of data. And you also need something called a remote desktop connection client. On Windows, it should have come with your computer, although you should always check. If you're using a Mac or Linux environment, you might need to download it, or you might already have it. It really depends. There's more information about that on this page. Next, we're going to go to Reservations here on the sidebar. The VCL has partnered with a lot of other schools and institutions outside of NC State, and if you go to any of these schools or are part of any of these organizations, you can log in without having to request an account. Most of them are universities and community colleges in North Carolina. But if you don't attend or work at one of those places, you're going to need to request an account. Go to this drop down menu and scroll all the way to the bottom and click non NCSU account. If you don't have an account already, and you wouldn't be watching this video if you did, you need to create an account, which is this middle option here. Fill in the information and press confirm. Now, if you set up an account like this, it actually has to be approved by the people who run the VCL. And even if you do have an approved account, you can only log on for a half hour or an hour at a time, and you can't use all of the software because of licensing restrictions. Now I'm an NC State student, so I'm going to go back, use this drop down menu, and log in using my NCSU ID. So now you should be logged into the VCL, whether it's through a school account or a requested account. The next thing that we're going to do is create a reservation. Click Reservations here on the left, and click New Reservation. So when you're creating a reservation, you have to reserve it for the particular software that you want to use. They have a lot of different softwares. Recently, we asked them to put on Chime. If you've been watching my previous videos, I've been making a lot of Chime tutorials, so that's probably what I'm going to open. Chime Ubuntu 14.04. Now you have two options using the VCL. You can either request an immediate reservation or make one for later. We're going to request one right now, but if I wanted to request one for later on in the day, I would use these drop down menus here. You can even do it up to a week in advance. I'm not sure why you would want to, but you can. So I'm going to request the reservation now. Because I'm just doing this as an example, I'm going to say it's for 30 minutes. I'm not actually going to use the software at all, just show you how to get on. It says the estimated load time is less than 10 minutes, which is the lowest it's going to be, even if there's open computers right then. I've seen this number get a lot bigger, so if you are going to need to use this to do your homework for a particular class, I would suggest trying to do it a little on the earlier side or before you're about to start your homework because it might not be immediately available. Press Create Reservation. And now you can see your reservation and all of the settings you chose for it. 
It tells you how long it'll be before they have your computer ready for you to use. Okay, so our reservation has just gone through and we can connect to the VCL now. Press the connect button to get started. Take note of this information here, including the computer number, the ID they want you to use, and your password. For me, they're telling me to use my student password, but that might not be what they tell you. Click Get RDP File. You may get some error messages, or your computer may ask you if you're sure you want to connect to something remotely. Just say Connect. Now here's where I'm going to need to log in. I'm going to use my student password and press OK. Then press OK. I'm going to make this window bigger and press Use Default Configuration. Now I'm on the VCL. This is a Linux setup um, and it has Chime, which is the software I wanted, already installed. It should be able to connect to the internet pretty easily and you should be able to save files onto it, but do not leave files here because they will be deleted as soon as you exit the window. This reservation is only for half an hour. If I wanted to extend it, I would close this window, go to more options, edit, and you can extend the reservation by an hour at a time. As an NC State student, I can have a 10-hour VCL connection, but as a guest, you can only do about an hour, I think. And that's it. That's how you get onto the VCL. Make sure to close the session when you're done. Don't just X out because that is just going to waste their resources and give other people longer wait times for their VCL connections. This is telling me that if I X out without closing down the session, It'll be disconnected, but the program will still be running on the NC State server. So I'm going to press OK, and then I'm going to delete the reservation. And that's it. The reservation's over. And if I want to do it again, I have to start a new one. This has been a tutorial on using the VCL at NC State. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try and respond. And make sure to subscribe for more videos about the VCL and other interesting topics.